One Piece is entering its final saga, which means in a few years we could be very close to the end of the series. But in order for the Straw Hat Pirate Crew to make it that far, they're all going to have to become much stronger. To defeat the likes of Shanks and the Red Haired Pirates or Blackbeard and the Blackbeard Pirates, there are upgrades that have to be made. So that's why in this video I'll be giving all of the Straw Hats their perfect new power up to take them all the way to Laugh Tale. Overall, there are no easy tasks left for the Straw Hat Pirates. They have a difficult path in front of them, but with these new power-ups, it will become a lot easier. So before we get started with the first straw hat, it would mean a lot if you guys would like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Anyways, let's start off with Sanji. Sanji recently gained a couple strong power-ups in Wano, which allowed him to defeat Queen. He gained things like his raid suit from his family and also his Vince Smoke jeans. However, his matchups in the future are not going to get any easier, so he needs something else. Overall, Sanji is a very well-rounded fighter. He has decent observation hockey and armament hockey as well as very powerful offensive attacks with his kicks. His weakest point was his defense until Wano when we saw those Vin Smoke jeans finally kick in. So because of this, I don't have one specific power up, but instead a few different options for Sanji. The first and least likely is a devil fruit. Sanji has expressed in the past that he's not really interested in eating a devil fruit because he will lose his ability to swim. The only devil fruit he was interested in was the clear, clear fruit, but now he has that power with his raid suit, so I doubt he's still interested in that. But to really upgrade his attack, a devil fruit based around speed would help him a lot. But secondly, his power up could just be enhancing his hockey. But getting advanced observation hockey and maybe like one to two seconds of future sight would really be good for him. Third on my list for Sanji is Conqueror's Hockey. I posted a poll on my channel and a lot of people do think Sanji will get this, but I'm personally not drawn into the hype just yet. Conqueror's Hockey is possessed by people who are born with the spirit of a king, and while Sanji is a prince, I just don't see those characteristics in him like we do with Luffy and Zoro. Lastly, I did use ChatGPT to help me out with this one and it's something to nullify his weakness to women. There's been too many times already where a woman has been able to trap Sanji and that is his biggest weakness. I'm not saying he should go against his morals and start fighting women. I'm just saying he could do something to prevent them from being able to trap him. And here's what ChatGPT had to say. Sanji could undergo a specialized form of hockey training where he learns to control and channel his emotions more effectively. By achieving emotional balance, he would be able to resist the distractions caused by his attraction to women, allowing him to fight with unwavering concentration. Let me know which one of these power-ups you think would fit Sanji the best. Anyways, we're gonna move on to Brook. Brook's power-up would not be as crazy as Sanji's. Sanji is one of the top crew members, you have to remember that and not every crew member will have crazy stats and abilities at the end of the series. Unfortunately for Brooke, he will kind of always be in that category of, yeah, you're pretty strong, but you'll never be as strong as these guys. So with that being said, I think Brooke gets two things. First being simple hockey, just based armament and observation hockey. I do believe that Brooke is very capable of it. And second for Brooke is just awakening his devil fruit. He's had his devil fruit for so many years, and I know he didn't really learn anything about it until he first died, but it's about time for him to figure it out. And I think every crew member will end up awakening their devil fruit, so it's just a matter of time. And Brook's awakening will kind of just enhance his ability to control souls. I don't think it'll be an overpowered awakening. He's only able to control weaker souls at the moment, so once he awakens it, maybe he'll be able to control some stronger people. And I've seen theories that his awakening will be able to revive others that have died, and that seems way too powerful, and I just don't see that happening. But that's Brook. Basic hockey, and an awaken fruit okay next up we're gonna do tony tony chop his power up is pretty simple in my opinion i honestly do not think he will end up getting hot he might be the one crew member that never gets hot it's very possible for him and a couple others not to get it but i think chopper at least might not get it so with that being said i think his power up will be awakening his devil fruit by accident most of the time you're not intentionally awakening your devil fruit but i think choppers will literally be some sort of just random thing that happens and somehow he awakens his devil fruit. I've stated before in a couple shorts on my channel that I believe his fruit is more than just the human human fruits and it will be some sort of model of the human human fruit. Every other fruit like choppers like Luffy's or Sengoku's and any other human human fruits have models. Choppers does not. And there's nothing else in the series like that. The bird devil fruits don't just have a bird fruit. It has to be some sort of type of bird. My personal fantasy is that when Chopper awakens his fruit, it will be the Earth God Devil Fruit, but that is pretty far-fetched, I will admit it. I asked ChatGPT what it thought about Chopper and what his 
a power up could be and it mentioned chopper developing a new rumble ball formula that allows him to access more advanced and powerful formations and that could definitely be what happens to chopper he needs a little bit of a strength buff so maybe a new form similar to his pre time skip monster form will come out choppers was pretty simple now let's move on to nami and for nami i would just say hockey but i'm honestly pretty certain she already has observation hockey it just hasn't been stated out loud her ability to predict weather changes is not human and in my opinion is just a different form of observation hockey we've seen her be able to do it since the beginning of the show and you could just say that's a character trait of hers but with how observation hockey works it kind of feels like nami is using some form of it she did it so many times in pre-time skip she also did it you know in the new world and everything like that and i also have to mention a time in thriller bark where she was asleep and managed to dodge absalom multiple times while he was trying to kiss her it could have just been for the memes and the funny moment but with how observation hockey works that's kind of what it is let's move hockey to the side for a moment and talk about another upgrade i think nami just needs another weapon she's been getting upgraded weapons all the time throughout the show and i think that will be her last power up however this one will just have more abilities and be stronger than before. ChatGPT also agreed with me on this one and provided some possible new abilities for her weapon. She'd get enhanced weather manipulation, so she'd be able to do stuff more easily and freely with weather. Be able to create weather barriers to protect herself because her defense is very lacking. I mean, she can get one-shotted by anybody. And then also using either some sort of wind element or cloud element to get a flight mode. ChatGPT said her new stick would have wings built into them and that could work as well but i think just using wind or something like that would be more fitting and lastly just different weather attacks besides of her usual thunderbolts that's all she really uses maybe she could figure out some sort of earthquake attack or hurricane attack and that could be used as well all right getting into one of my favorite ones this is frankie now he is a very interesting case because his fighting style is a lot more unique compared to the other crew members most of the time he's not physically fighting he is in the iron pirate or general frankie nowadays in dress rosa he was fighting physically against senor pink but he spends a lot of his time if he can in the iron pirate and i also just don't think he could actually get armament hockey he is made out of steel and armament hockey Hockey kind of has to do with the skin so if he's able to project armament hockey onto his steel body that would be kind of insane but i just don't think it's possible so i came up with something more fun than the boring hockey and devil fruits i've been talking about for frankie's power up i think he turns the sunny into a big transformer like a fighting machine like his iron pirate now except using the sunny instead it is made from some of the strongest wood and i'm sure he could use something to you know make the outside stronger as well and part of me truly believes that oda might be foreshadowing this frankie's post wano bounty is a picture of the sunny maybe it's just a gag but it would be super cool if i'm right about this and also remember somebody on this crew is going to have to match up against san juan wolf of the blackbeard pirates that guy is absolutely massive and right now nobody would be able to match up with him using the sunny as a transformer would definitely help frankie he'd still be much smaller than san juan wolf could get but it's better than the iron pirate so that's frankie and i think that would be awesome if that somehow happens let's move on to usopp i have very high hopes for usopp by the end of the series we do know his dream is to become a brave warrior of the sea and he's always just been this coward so it'd be nice if he became somebody strong by the end usopp's final power up slash upgrade will 100% pertain to beating either Van Auger or his own father Yasa. For a long time I thought Usopp's slingshot would get a devil fruit power to help enhance his sniping abilities and that could very much still be what happens but I think Usopp's perfect and final upgrade will be with his observation hockey. I'm going to boldly say that Usopp by the end of the series Will have the best future sight in the show and he's already shown this off he just doesn't know it yet he's told countless lies that have come true later on which could be some sort of future sight that he's just subconsciously using you might think it's just a gag that oda has been continuing over the years but i hope it's something bigger than that usopp's future sight will be able to see moments days months weeks into the future and his power up will be learning to control that this is something that i believe he absolutely needs to be able to defeat van auger who has that broken teleportation devil fruit because usopp Usopp right now has absolutely zero chance of beating Yasop or Van Auger. And I think when the Straw Hats finally make it to Elbaf, we'll see what Usopp's power up will be. And it could be completely different from what I'm saying, but he needs something. That is what I'm absolutely sure of. So let's go on to the historian of the crew, Nico Robin. Robin needs some hockey, both observation and armament. She did learn Fishman Karate in Wano, which is a decent help for her lack of close range offensive attacks because her Devil Fruit is very long range based. However, her deep 
defense is still not good because of that. Sure, she's a strong and independent woman, but her body is still pretty fragile. Some armament hockey would help her defensively so she can block attacks and take less physical damage during fights. And as for her devil fruit, I think she is the closest on the crew to awakening it. She's had this power for 24 years now and is pretty efficient with it as we saw in Wano with Giganta Fleur and Demonio Fleur. So Robin is definitely very close to awakening her devil fruit. Robin's best power up will be awakening her devil fruits, but combined with some hockey and some better defense, she will be immensely powerful. Okay, we're in the final three. We're gonna go ahead and talk about Jinbei. Jinbei is a unique case because I could see him not getting any substantial power-ups at all. Remember, he was previously a Warlord of the Sea. He's already very strong. He knows hockey, so he could get advanced hockey, but I know that's pretty boring, and I've been saying that all video, but that is all I can think of for Jinbei. He's already a seasoned fighter, and honestly, he might be at his full potential other than hockey. He is a Fishman Karate master, so there's nothing else for him to learn there, and his only major weakness was probably speed he is a big and chunky guy but maybe we see Jinbei get a weapon to use because we have seen him with a trident during the fishman island flashbacks and it just so happens that sunbell the fishman on rogers crew also carried a trident so maybe there's something related with that i also want to mention that we have not yet seen Jinbei at his limit during a fight and that's when most power-ups happen when a character reaches their limit they feel like they can't go on any further and then boom, they figure that one thing out. It's typically like a Devil Fruit Awakening or that advanced hockey. So maybe one day we will see Jinbei reach his physical limit and find out what that power up will be. But until then, I'm just gonna give the guy advanced hockey and slap a trident on him. Okay, second to last, we have Zoro. I think Zoro is in a very similar situation to Sanji where he could have a lot of different things, but none of them really fit him that well. And also at the same time, Zoro is kind of oversaturated with powers at this point. He knows all three types of hockey and will probably get advanced in all three types of hockey and like i said before that's just the basic and not that fun of answer one more thing that might not even really be a power up but it's something zoro will do is turning his blades black and making them permanently black like mihawk we've seen that this is like a staple for the great swordsman in the world of one piece so i'm guaranteeing that it will happen to zoro another idea i like is one of zoro's swords getting a devil fruit power but like i said that probably won't happen and the chances are aren't very high of that happening but i do think it would be pretty cool zoro got so much stronger in Wano that there's just not a lot more he can do physically other than working on hockey and mastering his swords. I don't want to say he has peaked because he is still so young, but he is extremely powerful and in my opinion just getting so much closer to Mihawk now. And lastly we have Luffy, which ironically Luffy is the hardest straw hat to give a power up to, mainly because he is extremely strong already. He's top 5 in the verse, has an awakened devil fruit, has advanced hockey of every type, so there's not a lot to give him other than some obvious things like making gear 5 last longer, and just kind of mastering his devil fruit a little bit more, making it use less energy so he can use it longer. Like I said, he's awakened already, so mastering it is pretty much the only thing he can do now. I do have a more fun power up for Luffy. I think the guy needs to hit a growth spurt. The dude's five foot six and has a dad eight and a half feet tall and a grandpa over nine and a half feet tall. It's not too late for those genes to kick in and him hit a little growth spurt. Come on, Oda, just make the guy a little bit taller, please. 